Hey there guys, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today we're going to be cooking up a dish with rice and beans. Everybody was been wanting a recipe with rice and beans in it, so here we go. Now I am going to be using, you know, your standard canned beans, alright? For the simple fact, I think everybody should be prepping canned beans in a sense because they are ready to go. They have been rinsed. They have been washed. They have been through the whole thing. You don't have to worry about anything. Whereas in, if you use your dried beans and you want to turn around and then you want to take and start cooking those, you have to follow the proper methods in soaking your beans while you are cooking your beans. You know what I'm saying? So there's a whole method that you have to follow. You can't just throw them in a pot and start cooking them because certain beans can make you really sick if you do not follow the proper protocol when it comes to dry beans. So having canned beans, boom, it's an easy, no-brainer. You can choose if you want to rinse them off first or if you can just dump them right into your dish and get going. So we're also doing Spam today. Everybody's favorite. We're going to cook up some rice, two cups of rice. All right, everybody knows how to make rice, hopefully. I mean, that's a like a no-brainer right there. You're going to need just a little bit of oil in your frying pan for the spam we're going to dice up. I got some black olives we're going to throw in there and assorted spices over here. So let's get going on this video and let's start prepping all this stuff up and let's see what we got. Here we go. gentlemen so let's get rolling here the rice is done I just finished cooking the rice like I said we all know how to cook the rice rice is done I wanted to get the rice done first so now we're gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil not a lot just a little just enough to coat the bottom of this pan here so that we get a good cooking going so see you just want to Stretch that up just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Now it's time to cook with the gas. Let's turn that bad boy on. Get that going. Let's put our little mitt over the end here so nobody gets burnt. Safety first always as in a kitchen. We're going to be talking about this Camp Chef stove right here. Um, in a few minutes. I'm not using it in today's video, but I'm going to be incorporating this into some of my videos and stuff. I'm going to tell you why here in a minute, but let's get going on getting this spam going. All right. So I took this spam and I diced it up into nice little chunks. You can make them as big as you want or whatever you want to do, but I just put it into nice little chunks. It's all on what you want. So we're going to add all the spam in there. All right. Now at this point, a little trick I want to tell everybody. Now we're adding our dehydrated onions. We're going to add some onion in here. All right. With your dehydrated onions, when you are doing your rice, save yourself a step and add your dehydrated onions over here to your cooking pot, all right, that you're cooking your rice in, all right, because for one, it's going to rehydrate them really good. For two, you're going to get a nice flavor in your rice. So anything you want to put in there, put your spices and stuff in your rice if you'd like. I didn't do it that way because I wanted to tell you guys. Now we're going to add just a little bit of garlic. Right here. And some white pepper. like spam because you know I mean it's the luncheon meat right but in an emergency situation it's going to be the difference between eating something having something to put in your belly coming up with some great dishes and this way here you know you can provide something for your family now, real quick, let's talk about this camp chef over here, all right? If you don't already have 
a two burner stove. This has an oven built into it, all right? You can buy the ovens that will fit over here right on top of your Coleman stove, all right? But the downside of that is you put that oven on there and you're not gonna have a lot of space to cook anything else. Maybe a small pot, but that's it. If you're gonna invest in the money, buying one of these camp chefs, all right? You get two huge butane burners on the top up here, all right? These things crank out the heat. You gotta be very careful with this bad boy because it does get hot real quick. So you have to really watch what you're doing. But you can be cooking while you are using the oven to do grids. You can also be doing a casserole or anything else inside here. A full-size dish fits right in this bad boy, folks. Voila. I mean, come on. What else can he ask for? So if you're going to have to spend money to start buying a gas stove, a two-burner gas stove, and if you, then if you want an oven to incorporate into your survival supplies and everything else, you might as well spend the money and just buy one whole unit that does it all. It comes with a great carrying case. I have used this stove in my past cooking videos, so if you want to check one of those out, you can see this thing in action. Um, but it is going to be coming in a video real soon. All right, we're going to get back over here and stir up our Spam. We want to brown this up real nice, folks. See, it's already starting to get brown on there. And we're going to let that brown up. Our Spam is all nice and brown. Can you all see that? Nice and brown, it's ready to go. It smells really good. Now we're gonna start adding some ingredients. This is just red kidney beans. Red kidney beans, uh, I just strained them and I rinsed them off real quick, all right? Because I didn't want any of that juice in here, unlike the next can. All right, so we're gonna dump these in. We're gonna reduce our heat. Now we're going to dump in the black olives. I strain those off. We're going to give these a quick stir. Alright. Now, for the seasoning, you can buy these bushes baked beans, all right? They're a black bean fiesta. They come with a nice sauce in them and everything else. So I just went ahead and just opened those up. And we're just gonna go ahead and pour all that in there with the sauce. So we get a really good flavor. Now we have to stir all this up. Incorporate all this. Simmer down just a little bit here. Our rice is ready to rock and roll. So we got our rice over here. We got everything else. We got our baking dish here that's ready to go. And I mean, what else is it? That's so simple, folks. And it's a great meal. Just remember, water is very important. It's the most important prep that you will have. So make sure you either have a lot of it or you have some way to purify it. Now, we have to start incorporating a little bit of this rice. I think we're going to do it a little at a time because the pot is a little big. You may not need all two cups. You may need to have a bigger 
So in this situation, you may want to use something like a, a Dutch oven or something like that, that that is deep and that you can uh, you can incorporate all this stuff into. Now, something you may want to add to this, because it could be dry because of the rice, is having some type of a gravy or something like that will really help out a lot. So if you had like a pork gravy, if you're cooking with Spam, uh, you can put a pork gravy in here, it'll probably be delicious. So let's go ahead and start spooning some of this right down into this dish here. Now you're talking a meal here, feed. If you're doing it by proportion, like the way you should be if it is an emergency type situation, this meal here would probably feed about 10 to 12 people by portions. So, you know, I mean, if you have a family of four, this is going to feed your family of four really nice in an emergency type situation. Now, as I did say, just because, you know, hey, it's an emergency type situation. We don't have to have, you know, add a little parsley on top here. And that, boys and girls, is our dish. Look at that. Looks very, very good. I might just take a little spoonful here. Mmm. I'm telling you folks, it is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Very simple to do. You get a nice flavor out of that one can of Fiesta. It gives you all the flavors you need without really using any of these spices. So you can get away with just putting just that one can in there with another can of beans and you're getting all those great flavors. So you may want to check some of those out at your stores and stuff because, hey, it can't hurt. And just because it's an emergency situation, folks, doesn't mean that you can't have something that tastes really good. Remember, you guys out there are the ones that control your destiny. It's all on how you want to do it. It's all on how you want to be prepared. And it's all on the flavors of the food that you want to eat in an emergency type situation. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this cooking video today, cooking with your preps. Everybody seems to be liking these videos. I'm getting a lot of great comments. I've got a lot of great ideas and stuff out there. I'm working on more. And you know what, folks? We're going to have fun cooking with our preps. So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.